Before we turn to our reading from the Haftarah, from the prophet Isaiah, it's really my honor and privilege to welcome to the Bima to share some words of reflection on the themes of the Haftarah, a, a friend of this community and a dear friend of Rabbi Braus, a partner in the good work uh, for many, many years, Eric Ward, who is the executive vice president of Race Forward. Eric, uh, your work has been crucial to the thoughtful analysis and careful progress in combating anti-Semitism and anti-Black racism. We're grateful for your leadership and look forward to your remarks today. This year, many of you have lived through what felt like an unrelenting storm of hatred, violence, and loss. Anti-Semitism has surged, shaking the very ground beneath our feet, in our schools, in our neighborhoods, in our workplaces. It has felt like the walls were closing in, even here where we thought we were safe. And in Israel, Gaza, the West Bank, the pain of mourning and division has cut deep. Many of you have felt that grief, the anguish of lives lost, hopes shattered, and futures uncertain. The weight of it all feels impossible to carry. I stand before you today as a non-Jew. I'm a black man who grew up on the streets of Los Angeles. I know what it's like to be othered, to feel like the world is set against you, to carry the weight of hatred that seems impossible to shake anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, and anti-Black racism. These triple threats are not abstract ideas. They are real and they strike at the heart of who we are. But today, we stand here together because we know that even in the face of the forces of evil, this is our opportunity. We are not here just to fast or pray, though those are acts are sacred. We are here because of Isaiah's words, call us to something greater. Today's haptara is not just about fasting. It is about what we do with the hunger inside of us. Isaiah reminds us that fasting without purpose, without action, is not enough. Fasting is about leaning in, not retreating. It's about love, not rage. It's about wrestling with the hard truths of the world, not battling to destroy, but to wrestle, to transform. Isaiah calls us to break the chains of oppression, to let the oppressed go free, to feed the hungry, to clothe the naked. These words aren't just a call to heal personal wounds. They are a call to confront systems of oppression that allow anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, and anti-Black racism to thrive. But this is not a time to retreat. This, as I said, is our opportunity our opportunity to meet these threats with love, to meet them with action, to build a world where none of us stand alone. It's easy, especially after a year like this, to feel paralyzed by the weight of everything, to wonder if there is a path forward, if it's even possible to ask ourselves, what can I do when there is so much suffering, so much hate? But Isaiah tells us again, this is our opportunity. Even in the face of overwhelming darkness, even when the road seems blocked, even when the burden feels too great to carry, 
This is our moment to act. This is our moment to lean in and to build something better. And not just for ourselves. This is the opportunity to stand shoulder to shoulder and clear the road for justice for those who feel abandoned, for those who feel silenced, for those whose lives have been shattered by hate, by violence, and by division. This has been a heavy year, and it's easy to feel we've lost our way. But Isaiah's message is clear. We still have the power to act. The chains of oppression are not unbreakable. The road is not lost. This is our opportunity to rise together. As we prepare to hear Isaiah's words, I ask you to reflect not just on the pain of the past year, but what it means to live in the moment. This is not just for ourselves, but for all of us. Because today, as we are reminded, we are not fasting for ourselves. We are fasting for justice. We are fasting for freedom. We are fasting for a world we know we can build together. And together, we will build that highway. Together, we will rise. Together, we will break the chains. Together, we will clear the path. Together, we will make the road straight. Together, we will feed the hungry. Together, we will close the naked. Together, we will let the oppressed go free. This is our opportunity to show the world that we are stronger than hatred, stronger than fear, stronger than the divisions that try to tear us apart. This is our opportunity to show that together we can heal, we can build, we can rise. For if we do not rise, who will? For if we do not love, what will become of us? For if we cannot find it in our hearts to hope in the darkest of times, then how will we ever see the light? Gamal Chitobah.